Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I wanted to show you how to make a little dum dum cover. We call them dum dums over here, little lollipops, um, suckers. And I thought they, uh, this is a, an old design of mine. We've got two tutorials on how to make it already, but this one we're going to do specifically for Halloween with the little pumpkin face on it. Okay. Um, it's been up there for a while, but I haven't actually ever gone through exactly how to place the bands on this. So I thought today we would do that very quick, very easy. You can do it on a loom. You can do it with your hook. It really doesn't matter. The most important part is when you do make it, you need to have the bands, the little chains that you're going to make in the right order when you put them all together so that you make the little face. All right, so what we're going to do, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 little chains. We're gonna make 10 chains. As I said, you can use your loom. I've got them all laid out here. Or you can use your hook. The chains are going to consist of an end cap, one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair, and five pair. So it's five pair, including your end cap. One, two, three, and four, and five. So five of them are going to be just plain orange okay and they will be two this side and three this side the important ones are going to be the five that go in the middle the first two on either side are going to be all orange except one band each and that's going to be for the mouth and you're going to do the same of the as those for the middle so three of them this one this one and this one are going to have one pair of black bands like that for the mouth. The other two important ones are going to be the ones that have the eyes and they have two pair of black bands on them. Okay, so these five pair are quite important. So let's go through how we're going to do this. If you're using your loom, you're going to be double banding. You're going to start from the top okay your loom is going to be in the um, standard configuration you're not going to have it staggered at all the open part of the peg is going to face towards you and you can fit um, six of these on at a time which means that you do six and then you have to do another four so one two three four five and then an end cap and the end cap you're going to put on your hook wrap once and twice and pop on your peg here like so okay now the other five that we're going to do here are going to be these important five so I can show you exactly how to place them all right so the next ones we're going to do is one and then we're going to do I'm sorry, let's keep going. Let's do this the side of the mouth first. Two, three, and the fourth is going to be a pair for the mouth. Five is going to be orange, and you're going to have an orange end cap. One and two, wrap around a hook and place here. After the mouth, you're going to have an eye, all right? So you need to start, and I'm just showing you with the with the loom first. One, you're going to then have a pair of black for the eye, space between them, pair of black for the mouth, and then we finish with orange again. Likewise, when we use the bottom half of our loom here, Okay, we're going to do, we're going to finish off the face here. So you start with one. Now we need a space. If you remember, we don't have three eyes. So we're going to do one of these ones again for the middle. So that's three pair of orange bands. So you've got one, two, my black bands are in the way. Let's move them out of the way. Three, a pair of black for the mouth and finish with a pair of orange and 
your end cap one and two pop on your loom and now we're going to do the other eye so you're going to copy this one a pair the two for the eye the space between the eye is orange then you have the mouth and then you're going to have orange and an end cap And then we'll do one pair with just a mouth, a, a little chain with just the mouth. So that's three pair of orange, a pair of black, and finish off with orange. And your end cap again is going to be in orange. Now we need to make room to do our next four because as I said we need ten chains and we've got six here okay and as I said we need ten so what I'm going to do dig down past your end cap and loop these up and these are the these ones with the black are very important they're the ones that have to go in the right order so that your face your little pumpkin face is made Down. So we'll do the loom version and then we will do the version where we make it on our hook. Okay, dig down. Now you're going to need a holding hook of some sort. Whether that is another hook, you might have another hook. Uh, you could have a knitting needle, a pencil, a chopstick, um, anything like that to hold these on. Um, I'm going to use, let me think, I have got, I'll use another hook to hold mine on. I'm just going to use another hook to hold these on. So let's take them off in the correct order. I'm going to take the plain orange one off first. Okay, and then we'll take them off in the order that we've made them here. A part of the mouth is going to come first. No eyes, just the mouth. Then we're going to do the one with the eye. So that's the one with the two pair of black bands. Then we're going to, and you can pick either or, the one with just the mouth. Okay, then the one with the eyes and then the one with the mouth. Now we need to do four more. So this is this is your little face. We need to do four more with just orange, okay? So count out your bands here. One, two, three, four, And one more. Okay, down here, we'll put that on the bottom here. One, two, three, four, and five. All of these little chains need an end cap. So wrap around three times and pop your end caps on. end of each little chain and 
So here we go. Let's get that out of the way for a minute. I'm going to loop these up. Push back past the end cap. Hold it in place. Now I like to have two on one end and three on the other end um, of just the plain oranges. Okay, so we have a face, the end of the mouth here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to just take these off on my other hook. Okay, not my holding hook. I'm going to hold these on this hook because my other one is a bit full. When you have the um, comfort handle and not just a plain hook, it, it gets uh, you don't have as much space on your hook to move down. So what we're going to do, take two bands and you're going to hold this firmly on your finger and we're going to move three of these chains across, one, two and three. Now I am just going to put my finger like that and hold those three on. I'm then going to move to my other hook and put that side back on, okay? And now I'm going to put all of these on. And it's really important that you keep this tight. If you make it loose, it will fall off the end of your hook. And that could be a bit problematic. So now we have this other end here to get this extra one on okay and it's quite a tight fit get the other end of your two bands on your hook one over the other to secure it now you're just going to loop what's on your hook over this first one next to you here so spread it out and pop that through like that and it almost looks like a little starfish get it so that it's at the base of that band and there you have it looks like a a little flower or a little starfish. Now, if you'll notice, at the end here we have all our little end caps, okay? So starting at the back here, I'm going to go all the way around and I'm going to collect all of these little end caps onto my hook. Make sure that I'm not twisting my bands too badly. Push these down. It's going to be a bit tight and squeezy on my hook. So collect all the little end caps up and just the end caps you don't want to go through the bands themselves there we go so all my little end caps are on my hook okay and as I said it's very tight and squeezy you're going to take another two bands the reason I use two is because if one breaks the other one still holds it all together and you're going to turn your hook so that the hook part is going down the center here so that you don't snag any of the bands and you're going to slide them on and it, you can lose it if you lose it don't worry nothing's going to unravel it's just end caps okay so just try again and it happens to everybody so don't feel don't feel bad the trick is to keep this tight if you loosen up on this, it, it's going to relax on the end of the hook and that is when you will find that things will fall off. Again, you're going to go and collect the other end, okay? Now what we need to do is tie these in a knot together. So I take a single band, pull it through the two loops and pull tight in a slip knot and you can hide that, you can hide this little knot just by going up one of these chains that it's close to. If you look, you've got the centre little bit here that is in the middle and you can just kind of loop that in and hide it. Pull it into the inside even of your work so that it's not really visible to the outside. Now it doesn't really 
hold its shape terribly well and if you sort of play with it a little bit it sort of forms its shape a little bit better there we go fiddle around with it and there's your little pumpkin face now to get your dum dum in turn it to the back hold open here take the stick of your dum dum and put the stick down the center here like that and then open up the center so that you can slide the dum-dum in. Now I have to say these are the little dum-dums. They do fit the bigger dum-dums in too. Lollipops, candies, whatever. Spread them around and there you go. There is your little pumpkin dum-dum cover. The next video I'm going to show you how to do it on your loom, uh, on your hook, I'm sorry. Alright, so it's very quick and easy. Take care. Bye.